Uh, when I consider cataract surgery in the presence of Fuchs corneal endothelial dystrophy, there are certain elements that can be emphasized in order to maximize the safe outcome from the procedure. A clear corneal temporal wound is utilized that is square or over square to ensure an adequate tunnel length and good closure. And I like to ensure that I have a complete fill of viscoelastic, in particular viscoat, in the anterior chamber by exchanging the aqueous uh, for the viscoelastic agent. This is best done with a bolus begun across from the paracentesis and backfilling. The capsulorexis is crucial as it is for any uh, cataract surgery. However, in this case, I want to ensure that I have a slightly smaller capsulotomy to ensure adequate overlap on the optic uh, should an endothelial transplant be contemplated in the future or a penetrating keratoplasty. I want to make sure the IOL is secure and if a YAG has been performed, there's less chance of vitreous migration. I employ a CHOP procedure uh, to remove the, the lens and I like to work deep within the uh, anterior chamber and capsular bag uh, in a sequential fashion. If any uh, small pieces or chips have floated up to the endothelium where the viscoat still is maintained, as long as they do not obscure my view, I leave them in place as this remain, maintains more viscoat. And these are removed with IA. Uh, a lens is then placed through an unenlarged 2.2 millimeter uh, incision. All viscoelastic is moved from the capsule, removed from the capsular bag as well as from the endothelium. And we can see here we have the original viscoat protection throughout the entire case. Using these elements, I found that even fairly distressed endothelium can have successful outcomes. Thank you.